Hallelujah. <clears throat> we'll be reading the book of Psalms. Give an explanation of the book of Psalms on this Sunday morning. Um, all praise be to our Father, our God, for his blessings that he's bestowed upon us. The book of Psalms, in book one, the righteous and the wicked contrasted. So a comparison of the righteous and the wicked. And it reads in Psalms one, blesses the man that walketh not in the counsel of the wicked, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of scuffers. But his delight is in the law of Jehovah, and on his law doeth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the streams of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also doeth not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For Jehovah knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Psalms 1. Talk about the blessings that are bestowed on the man, the woman, who chooses to not entertain the counsel of the wicked, to not walk with them, to not talk with them, to not be motivated or persuaded to do the things that they do. It also says that you would not stand in the way of sinners. As people of the Most High, as children of God, true Israelites, those who have been born again, those who have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, those of us are to walk in holiness. Good morning. Blessed be the name of the God we serve. Hallelujah. Blessings and peace to those who are delighted in the law of our God, delighted in the law and the promises of our God. For our God knows the way of the righteous. It tells us that the way of the wicked shall perish. There's an end to wickedness. There's an end to foolishness. There's an end to all the things that people do that are not of a righteous manner. So in order for us to be successful, in order for us to, to reach the perfection that God wants us to have, we only can do it through his spirit. So in our prayer today, in reading Psalms 1, we meditate on a prayer of restoration, a prayer to meditate day and night on God's promises, his blessings, his peace, his love, his commandments. So with that being said, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you for this Sunday morning. We thank you for the righteousness that you have. And we ask that you would bless us, that we will be a holy people. Heavenly Father, give us courage to do what is right, to speak up for justice. Heavenly Father, allow your word to be in our hearts, in our minds. Allow your word to be spoken in season and out of season. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would bless us to be righteous and holy so that we will walk upright, perfect in all our ways, acknowledging you in spirit and in truth. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Messiah. We thank you for redeeming us. We thank you for fulfilling the law and the promises. We thank you for a day of salvation. For in your word, it says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the healing of the body, for you are our physician. You speak a word, you touch us, and we are healed. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being a deliverer, for you deliver us from oppression and from those who would put us in bondage and slavery. You free us from the snares of the enemy, and you protect us day and night. You protect us from all harm, hurt, and danger, and we give you the glory. All praise and honor goes to you, for we know you, the Lord our God, is one. You represented by the Father, you're represented by a Son, you're represented by the Holy Spirit, and the three are one. 
And you say in your scripture, there are three that bear witness in the earth, the water, the blood, and the spirit, and the three are one. Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to understand the word and comprehend that we understand what is being said so that there is no division within the body of Messiah. You are Christ, the anointed one. You are the everlasting Father, as written in Isaiah ch chapter 9, verse 6. Heavenly Father, you are the wonderful counselor. Heavenly Father, counsel us. Give us knowledge, understanding, and peace. And cover us with your blood. Allow us to be kept and redeemed and separate from those who are wicked. Heavenly Father, deliver us from the wicked man and the foolish man who says that there is no God. Deliver us from those leaders and those who have hidden behind their wealth and those who have oppressed the needy and those who have killed the poor and those who have tried to eradicate and destroy your people of color. Heavenly Father, we bind every spirit that is not like you. We plead the blood of Messiah, Yahushua HaMashiach, over all of yours. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would allow our enemies to see your power. You said pray for our enemies and those who despitefully use us. Heavenly Father, it is my prayer for my enemy to repent and turn from sin, that he may see your salvation that she may see your salvation, that they may be baptized and filled with the gift of the Holy Spirit. But if they repent not and they reject your law and they reject your prophets and they reject your servants, Heavenly Father, we ask that you reject them. For you are a merciful God. You always say your hands are scratched out. Heavenly Father, bless us with wisdom to know what to do. Give us experience. Heavenly Father, bless us just as you blessed Job. He endured a lot, but he was perfect and upright. And in the scripture, it says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but you deliver us out of them all. Heavenly Father, we pray for the nation of Israel and Jerusalem, where the people who live there have forsaken you and Messiah. For those people who live there in a promised land, that they reject the fulfillment of who you have selected and your son. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would reject them. Remove all who are not supposed to be there immediately. Shake up the ground, shake up the earth. I prophesy against Israel in the state and condition that it is in right now, for they have rejected you. They say that they know who you are, but they do not what you say. They bind up all those who are of color, and they kill and ridicule and poison, and they murder, they extort, they bribe all throughout time, and they have condemned your people. Heavenly Father, arise, great Yahuwah, and allow your enemies to be scattered and utterly destroyed. Heavenly Father, allow fire to rain down from heaven. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you would keep your people in perfect peace. All those who would listen and adhere to my voice, for you have sent me, and I am grateful. You are a God of order. You are a God of peace. And you are a God of war. Heavenly Father, fight for us. Because you told us in your word, not by power or by might, but by your spirit. Heavenly Father, allow your spirit to move on our behalf. Pass over the land, the nations. Examine the hearts and the minds of men. Heavenly Father, we pray that your judgment come on the earth, on every nation even beginning here in the house of God. For you said judgment begins in the house of God. I am your servant, and I render the decree. Blessed are those who keep your law and your commandments, and cursed are those who reject it and reject you, as well as your son. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we call the Christ Jesus. I thank you, Emmanuel, God with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalms 2. The reign of Jehovah anointed. Why do the nations rage and the peoples meditate a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Jehovah and against his anointed saying, let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens will laugh 
The Lord will have them in derision. The Lord will speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet I have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will tell of the decree. Jehovah said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me and I will give thee the nations of, for thy inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel. Now, therefore, be wise, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve Jehovah with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and ye perish in the way. For his wrath will soon be kindled. Blessed are all they that take refuge in him. Thank God for the reading of Psalms 2. Hallelujah. We give glory and honor to God. And I kiss the son. The mercy seat of our God and his mercy is everlasting. In order for us to be true disciples, we must have discipline. And what type of discipline must we have? The discipline to do what we ought to. Christ taught that we should love one another. But how do we love one another when we fail to learn how to love ourselves? For if we truly love ourselves, we would repent, be baptized, and ask for the gift of the Holy Spirit. For if you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, you will be blessed. For Christ said he is the bright and morning star. We ought to be bright and morning stars. Each morning, we ought to give thanks to our Father who is in heaven. For we all have sinned and fall short of his glory. But he said to be perfect. So practice makes perfect. Psalms 3, the morning prayer of trust in our God. A Psalm of David when he fled from Absalom, his son. Jehovah, how are mine adversaries increased? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there are that say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Jehovah, art a shield about me, Selah. My glory and the lifter up of my head. I cry unto Jehovah with my voice, and he answereth me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and I slept. I awaked for Jehovah sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Jehovah, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongeth unto Jehovah. Thy blessings be upon thy people. Thank our God for Psalms 3. We call on his name, Jehovah, for salvation comes from our God. We are not afraid of who he is. He is our God, and he is a way maker, a miracle worker, a light in the darkness. Our God is wonderful. Psalms 5, an evening prayer of trust in God. For the chief musician on string instruments, a psalm of David. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast set me at large when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long shall my glory be turned into dishonor? How long will you love vanity and seek after falsehood? Selah. But know that Jehovah has set apart for himself that is godly. Jehovah will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in Jehovah. Many there are that say, who will show us any good? Jehovah, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than they that have their grain and their new wine, and it is increased. In peace will I both lay me down and sleep, for thou, Jehovah, alone maketh me to dwell in safety. 
Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you for your peace. That was Psalms 4. This is Psalms 5. A prayer for protection from the wicked. For the chief musician, give ear to my words, O Jehovah. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee do I pray. O Jehovah, in the morning shalt thou hear my voice. In the morning will I order my prayer unto thee and will keep watch. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness. Evil shall not sojourn with thee. The arrogant shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou wilt destroy them that speak lies. Jehovah abhorreth the bloody, thirsty, and deceitful man. But as for me, in the abundance of thy loving kindness, will I come into thy house. In thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Jehovah. In the righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sceptre. They flatter with their tongue. Hold them guilty, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Thrust them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that take refuge in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou wilt bless the righteous, O Jehovah. Thou wilt compass him with favor as with a shield. Thank God for his protection. Thank God for being a provider. Thank God for his son. And thank God for the miracles that he's bestowed upon us. Thank God for healing. Thank God for the commandments that we ought to keep. For we are to keep his commandments. For his commandments are not grievous. Hallelujah. And we bless his holy name. But what are his commandments? Let us read them. In the Holy Scripture... In Exodus chapter 20, I shall read the commandments to you. Exodus chapter 20, the Ten Commandments of the Most High God. And Jehovah spake all these words, saying, I am Adonai, thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord Adonai, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the sins of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of Adonai thy Lord, thy master, thy God, in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Shabbat, Saturday. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy maidservant, nor thy manservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord Adonai, Jehovah, made the heaven and the earth, the sea, and all that is within them, and he rested on the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord our God blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. He hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor thy manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is in thy neighbor's. 
And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet. Let's read that again. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet. Let's read it again. Verse 18. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightning and the noise of the trumpet. <laughs> saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking and when the people saw it they were moved and stood afar off and they said unto moses speak thou with us and we will hear but let not god jehovah speak with us unless we die and moses said unto the people fear not for god has come to prove you and that his fear may be before your faces that ye sin not and the people stood afar off, and Moses drew near unto the thick darkness where God was. We hear the word of God. We hear the power. We hear about the glory. We hear about the fringes and the tassels. We hear about the word. We do what we ought to. We have the fringes. We know what the word says. We represent the kingdom. We don't fear what man will say or what man will do. For those of us who believe, we do. We don't have to make anybody else do anything because the scripture says, choose ye this day who you will serve. Who will you serve? Who is your master? For the scripture says, you cannot serve two masters. Either you will love one and hate the other. Let us go back to the Psalms. Let us hear how things will be for those who keep the commandments of God. Psalms 119. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us, O, oh, to keep thy precepts diligently. O, oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes. O, oh, forsake not me utterly. Aleph. Now, Beth. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord. Teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the righteous judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statues. I will not forget thy word. Gimel, deal bountifully with thy servant that I may live and keep thy word. Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do error from thy commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept thy testimonies. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but thy servant did meditate in thy statues. Thy testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. Thy left, my soul cleaveth unto the dust. Quicken thou me according to thy word. 
I have declared my ways and thou heard of me. Teach me thy statutes. Make me to understand the ways of thy precepts. So shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melted for heaviness. Swiffen thou me according unto thy word. Remove from me the way of lying and grant me thy law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies. O Lord, put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. Hey, teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statues, and I shall keep it until the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yes, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away mine enemies from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach when I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. Vow, let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproaches me. For I trust in thy word and take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in thy judgments. So shall I keep thy law continually forever and ever. I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in thy commandments, which have I loved. My hands also will I lift unto thy commandments which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statues. Zion, remember the word unto thy servant, upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision. Yet have I not declined from thy law. I remember thy judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. Horror have taken hold upon me because of the wicked, for they forsake thy law. Thy statues have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night and have kept thy law. This I had because I kept thy precepts. Chayef, thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me, according to thy word. I had thought on my ways, and I turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. Teth, thou hast dealt with me and dealt well with thy servant. O Lord, according unto thy word, teach me good judgment and knowledge. For I have believed thy commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now have I kept thy word. Thou art good and doeth good. Teach me thy statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in thy law. It is good for me that I had been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. Selah. The law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Yod, thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn thy commandments. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me because I have hoped in thy word. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right and that, that thou in faithfulness has afflicted me. 
Let I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for comfort according to thy word unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me that I may live for thy law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed for they dealt perversely with me without a cause, but I will meditate in thy precepts. Let those that fear thee turn unto me and those that have known thy testimonies. Let my heart be sound in thy statues that I be not ashamed. Kaf. My soul fainteth for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Mine eyes fail for thy word, saying, When wilt thou comfort me? For I am become like a bottle in the smoke, yet do I not forget thy statutes. How many are the days of thy servant? When wilt thou execute judgment on them that persecute me? The proud have digged pits for me, which are not after thy law. All thy commandments are faithful. Thy, they persecute me wrongfully. Help thou me. They had almost consumed me upon the earth, but I forsook not thy precepts. Quicken me after thy loving kindness. So shall I keep the testimony of thy mouth. Lamed, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth and it abideth. They continue this day according to thine ordinances, for all are thy servants. Unless thy law had been my delights, I should then have perished in mine affliction. I will never forget thy precepts, for, they, for with them thou hast quickened me. I am thine. Save me, for I have sought thy precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but thy commandments is exceedingly broad. Mem, oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Thou through thy commandments has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I'll read that again. Verse 98 of Psalms 119. Thou... Through thy commandments has made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I have understanding more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I'll read it again. Verse 100. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me how sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yes, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. None. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform it, that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Except I beseech thee the free will offering of my mouth. O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statues always, even unto the end. Samak, I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Depart from me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according unto thy word, that I may live, and let not me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe, and I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Thou hast trodden down all them that error from thy statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. Thou putteth away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore I love thy testimonies. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. 
I am. I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to my oppressors. Be surely surety for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. Mine eyes fail for thy salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. It is time for thee, O Jehovah, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore, I love thy commandments above gold. Yes, fine gold. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Pay. Thy testimonies are wonderful. Therefore, doeth my soul keep them. The entrance of thy words giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. I opened my mouth and panted, for I longed for thy commandments. Look thou upon me and be merciful unto me, as thou usest to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word, and let not any sin iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statues. Rivers of waters run down mine eyes, because they keep not thy law. Tzadi, righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. Thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very true. My zeal have consumed me, because my enemies have forgotten thy words. Thy word is very pure, therefore thy servant loveth it. I am small and despised, yet do I not forget thy precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delights. The righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. Kof, I cried with my whole heart, hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried, I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes prevent the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Jehovah, quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief, they are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Jehovah, and all thy commandments are true. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou have founded them forever. Resh, consider mine affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead my cause, plead my case, and deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. Great are thy tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my persecutors and mine enemies, yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Shaheen, princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, I have hoped for thy salvation and done thy commandments. My soul have kept thy testimonies, and I, I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Ta'u, 
Let my cry come near before thee, O Jehovah. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according unto thy word. My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise thee, and let thy judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. All praise to our God for the reading of Psalms 119 and the sounding of the trumpet. be to our God in the name of Messiah, Yahushua HaMashiach, whom we call Christ Jesus. Ezekiel chapter 33. The watchman. I am appointed a watchman. I am Elijah the prophet. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, Speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see if the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his sin. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou doest not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die and his sin, but in his sin. But his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his sin. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how should we then live? Say unto them, As I live, saith the Lord, Jehovah. I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Therefore, thou son of man, say unto the children of thy people, the righteousness of thy people, the righteousness shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wicked, the righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turneth from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinneth. When I shall say to the righteous that he shall surely live, if he trust in his own righteousness and commit sin, all his righteousness shall not be remembered. But for his iniquity that he have committed, he shall die for it. Again, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, if he turn from his sin and do that which is lawful and right, if the wicked restore his pledge and give again that he had robbed, 
walk in the statues of life without committing iniquity and sin, he shall surely live. He shall not die. None of his sins that he have committed shall be mentioned unto him. He have done that which is lawful and right. He shall surely live. Yet the children of thy people say, the way of the Lord is not equal, but as for them, their way is not equal. When the righteousness turneth from his righteousness and committeth sin, he shall even die thereby. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall live thereby. Yet say, yet he, ye say, the way of the Lord is not equal. O ye house of Israel, I will judge you every one after his ways. All praise be to the Most High. That was Ezekiel chapter 33, verses 1 through 20. And it says that we, as watchmen, are to sound the trumpet. If you hear the trumpet, examine yourself. Are you in sin? Do you keep the commandments of God? Are you obedient? Do you love God more than you love wealth, mammon, money? Do you love God more than the things that you see? If you do not examine yourself, let every man examine himself. For how can you remove the beam from someone else's eye before you remove it from yours? As a watchman, I sound the trumpet all throughout the earth in the mountains, on the valleys, in the plains, in the oceans, on the sea, in the highest buildings, I sound the trumpet to remind us of who God is, the very breath that we have been given, the life that God has given us. We ought to be thankful. We ought to turn from sin and repent. Let the redeemed of our God say so. We have been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. And there are many who say there is no God. For even in the scripture, it says the fool have said in his heart that there is no God. But I assure you that there is a God and he sits high and he looks low. He is merciful and his mercy endures forever. His truth endures forever. He is a God of justice and order and he reigns. I have been sent to sound the trumpet. I have been sent to blow the ram's horn. I have been sent to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to set the captives free. I have been sent to liberate the people of God from the oppression of man. But in order for you to be liberated, in order for you to be delivered, you must choose ye this day who you will serve. Will you serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel through Messiah? Or will you serve yourself? Will you serve money and the things that you see? Choose ye this day who you will serve. Will you continue to chase after the things of this world? Is your conversation just about investing in 401ks and purchasing property and buying and flipping homes? Is your conversation just about buying new cars and clothes? Is your conversation just about getting laid and having premarital sex and committing fornication? Is that the thing that you seek after? Surely the God that I serve say, you will die in your sin if you repent not. For now you have heard the word of the Most High. The wages of sin is death and every day is payday. You shall be paid for the things that you've done. You shall be paid for the things that you say. If you do not have anything positive to say, keep your mouth closed. If you will not speak our true word from the Lord, keep your mouth closed. If you choose to be disrespectful starting today, your disrespect will be amplified to you. If you disrespect the prophet of the Lord, your disrespect will be amplified to you. The wages of sin is death. And when you hear the trumpet, Examine yourself. The scripture says, judge not unless ye be judged. But it did not say to not judge. For we do judge in righteousness. And I judge myself. For I have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. 
but I repented. And I've been baptized and I've been redeemed and I've been filled with the Holy Spirit. I, myself, the old man has died, but it is Christ who lives within me. I speak not of my own words, but I speak of his words. Have mercy on me, for I have sinned. But I know that your glory is true. I know that your mercy endures forever. How long? Forever. How long? Forever. Psalms 36. Psalms 36, beginning at the first verse. The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. Let's read it again. The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flattereth himself in his own eyes until his sin be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are sin and deceit. He have left off to be wise and to do good. He deviseth mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He hateth not evil. Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reacheth unto the clouds. Thy righteousness is like the great mountains. Thy judgments are a great deep. O Jehovah, thou preserveth man and beast. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God, Elohim. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house, and thou shalt make them drink of their river of thy pleasures. For with thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. O oh, continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee, and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of the pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked remove me. There are the workers of iniquity fallen. They are cast down and shall not be able to rise. Psalms 37. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the work of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in Jehovah, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who is prosperous in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger. Forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, Yahovah, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall be not. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yes, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth. Even Christ said in the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5, the meek shall inherit the earth. And shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnashes upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own hearts and their bows shall be broken. And a little that a righteous man has is better than riches of many wicked. 
For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but Yehovah upholdeth the righteous. The Lord Adonai knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of Jehovah shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke. They shall consume away. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again. But the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by Jehovah, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now I am older. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Let's read it again. Verse 25. I have been young, and now I am older. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from me, and depart from evil, and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The sons and daughters of the wicked shall be cut off. The children of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of Jehovah is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. Let's read it again. The wicked, the evil man, watcheth the righteous and seeketh to kill us. The wicked and those evil people seek to destroy the people of God. Jehovah will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on Jehovah and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like the green bay tree. Yet he have passed away. And lo, he was not. Yes, I saw him, but I couldn't. He could not be found. Mark the perfect man and behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace. Shalom. Selah. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of Jehovah. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And Jehovah shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. All praise to the Most High for the reading of the Psalms 37. It says, don't worry about evildoers. Fret not. Don't worry about it. Everybody think they got something going on. Oh, they got money. They got billions. They got trillions. They got quadrillions. They feel like they own everything and they blessed but they know not they cursed because all the things that they have accumulated was from extortion, bribery, and theft. Many people wear their Gucci and their Prada and their Louis Vuitton and they think they good. Many people ride around in their Bugatti or their Mercedes or their BMW and think that they are good. They're Range Rover and all the nice luxuries that life can provide. The Cadillac. And not saying that any of these things are terrible, but they put their trust in horses and chariots, as the scripture says, in their rides, in their cars, in their land. They say that they love the Lord, but their hearts are made of stone. Their hearts are hard as a rock. They say that they know who he is, but they do not what he say. The scripture says, and let's read it. In the gospel, according to 1 John, 
Let's read it. First John chapter two. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. Let's say it again. Everybody, children of God, these things that I'm reading to you and saying to you today in 2022, I'm saying to you, sin not. And if any man sin, we do have an advocate with the Father. Yahushua HaMashiach, whom we call Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins and not for our sins only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him. And who is him? Yahovah, our God, Abba. And keepeth not his commandments. He is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whosoever keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby we know that we know that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye have heard from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you which things is true in him and in you because the darkness is past and the true light now shineth. He that saith he is in the light and hate of his brother is in darkness, even until now. How can you say you love God when you love not the people that you see? How can you say that you love God when you keep not his commandments? Good morning. How do you say that you love God when you do not what he say? We ought to keep his commandments. We ought to be true. We ought to show love and compassion to one another. We ought to have respect for one another. We ought to pray for one another. We ought to be as Christ was. Verse 9 again. He that says he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whither he goeth because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the father. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. And that the world passes away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have no doubt been continued with, they would no have, they would, no doubt have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not of us. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus, is the Christ? He is the Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Let's talk about it. Verse 22. What is the Antichrist? The Antichrist is one who says that Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. 
The Antichrist is one who says that Jesus Christ has not come. Who is the Antichrist? One who does not believe in Messiah. Let's say it one more time. The Antichrist is he who does not believe that Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, is the Son of God. If you deny the Father and the Son, you are of the Antichrist. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is the Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same have not the Father, but he that acknowledges the Son hath the Father also. Let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye not need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teaches you all, all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If ye know that he is righteous, ye know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. All praise be to our God for the reading of 1 John chapter 2 in its entirety. We understand that our relationship with God is supposed to be a perfect and upright relationship. We know that we must be honest with our God. And yes, we all have sinned and fallen short of his glory. But we ought to not remain in sin. We ought to love him and we ought to trust him. So with that being said, I conclude my morning devotion and I say a prayer. Take a knee. Heavenly Father, Abba, Yehovah, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, Emmanuel, God with us, Toda, Baruch Adonai Elohim, I give thanks to your holy name. You are worthy of all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor belongs to you. Heavenly Father, I ask that you would bless, that you would keep your people, that you would cover us. For I am the bride of Christ, so I cover my head. Heavenly Father, I pray with a covering that you would cover me, for you are the covering. You are the cloud. You are the way. Heavenly Father, establish your truth in me. Heavenly Father, Allow those who hear the sound of the trumpet to repent, to turn from sin. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will establish a holy people, a righteous people. Heavenly Father, I pray just as you've told Moses that you would make a nation out of him, make a nation out of me. And all the children that we have that are in you, allow them to be your nation, your new Jerusalem, your new people. We abide in holy and in truth forgive us of all our sins and our wickedness allow us to shine bright as you are the morning star star heavenly father we ask that you strengthen us that you allow us to keep your commandments that you teach us your laws that you make us aware of your 613 bits box heavenly father we ask that you would bless the sanctuary we ask that you allow your Holy Spirit to come into this place today. Heavenly Father, we ask that you usher in your presence in the house. We ask that you would dwell in your temple, which is our human body. Heavenly Father, fill your temple with your glory, that wherever we are, you will be also. Heavenly Father, you said in your word, if two touch and agree, you are in the midst. So Heavenly Father, I pray that there will be unity in your body 
the body of Messiah. I pray that you will bless the assembly of the saints, that we will be empowered to do righteous deeds, that we will be able to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth through your word. Deliver us from our oppressors and the evil man. Deliver us from those who have lied to us and who have stolen. Deliver us from those who are planning to take our lives. Deliver us from the medical and the pharmacia who has devised a plan to inject us with poisons and kill us. Heavenly Father, you said you would heal us and protect us from all poisons and all death. Heavenly Father, continue to bless us and keep us in the sanctuary. Heavenly Father, cover us under your wings. Heavenly Father, hide us in the secret place. Heavenly Father, forgive us of our sins and help us to be lights in this dark world. Heavenly Father, establish your truth. Heavenly Father, establish your grace. Heavenly Father, allow your mercy to be in our hearts that we will have mercy on one another. And Heavenly Father, bless us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And teach us how to love you above all other things. To love you with our whole heart, our mind, and our strength. We thank you and we plead the blood of Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, over our families. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Amen. The trumpet. Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.